Hi guys and welcome back. This is a video that I promised that I would do, um, which is where I will demonstrate with the new eyeshadow pans, the new singles that have come out from Freedom um, in the HD Pro Artist range, the HD foils, etc. Um, so this is not a tutorial in any way, shape or form. This is literally just a first impressions on how they apply, etc. Um, and if they are as good as they are swatched on my hands. Now, if you would have seen the video of me doing the swatches, you will see that I was really, really impressed. But the proof is in the pudding. Anything can be swatched really good on the hands, but it depends on what it is like on the eye. So, the first colour I'm using, obviously, as base, I've already started to do, because I hadn't turned my video camera on, which is really clever of me, isn't it? Um, so this one is... Mm -hmm so sweet so this is a perfect perfect base color for me oh i think i put too much on my brush because it's a bit cloudy of smoke i did dip that in too much you can actually see i literally rammed my brush into this i don't know if you can see so we'll just blend that out I'll tell you what, that's really pigmented because that's completely covered up anything. Any little veins, any little dark spots and everything on my eyes. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more. You poor buggers haven't seen my eyes. So, transition and crease colour, etc. I'm going to use my Zoeva brush um, because I find that this is really good for blending. Um, and I'm going to use the first colour... Um, which is Sugar Rush. So it's a lovely pale colour. Not It's pigmented, very pigmented, but it's very, very pale. But that is what you want to start building up your your crease colour, transition colour, etc. Because otherwise if it's too dark straight away you kind of lose control over what you're doing. I'm just going to just put a bit more. I'm also just going to put this more in the corner because where my eyes are dropping through age if you just lift the colour up slightly above where they're drooping, it will just give the effect that they're not. That makes sense. Okay, so then I'm going to take the next colour along, um, which is brown sugar. I'm using all the mattes at the moment because it's not good to, to do this with... Oh, wow! Wow, almighty, goodness me, look how pigmented that is. Literally just with a touch of the brush and I've had got enough to do both eyes. That's amazing. Now, I will say, and I've said this before, I am in no, no way... A makeup artist, a professional at doing my makeup. I do my makeup as I like to do my makeup. So please don't sit there and think, God, she's doing a really crap job. I wouldn't have done this, I wouldn't have done that. This is just how I do my makeup. Um, if you want to use it as a tutorial, please feel free. But it's not the aim. It's just the aim to give you first impressions of these eyeshadows. And so far, so good. I mean, mm, I love the warmth coming through. I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to use my old faithful, if I can find you. There you are. I love this brush. This is a Lamora, and it's a blending brush. It's part. You can get these on Amazon, um, and you get them in a kit. 
um, and this brush I absolutely love and I mean I've even put my Zoeva one down to use this I mean look how they're blending out they're blending out gorgeous absolutely beautiful okay so next one long is going to be this one here and this is delicious which is again slightly darker um, I'm going to use my Zoeva brush again just because I can use a little bit more fine detail in the corners so I'm literally just doing this just to lift up my droopy eyelids because I do have my droopy eyelids and I just want to make I want my crease to be a bit bigger more defined right thank you Jakey now I really like that that is absolutely beautiful so I'm just going to put in a tiny bit of the matte white at the top Just to highlight my brow without it being too out there. So as you can see that's really picking up the light. Even though it's it's a matte, it really has picked up the light. And I'm also going to just put just open my eye up a little bit. I mean I might use some shimmer as well, but for the time being I'm just using my white. Oh, do you beg my pardon? Okie dokie. Right, so let's have a look and see how we get on under the eye. So, just build up again. My throat, this is really weird. My throat is making funny noises because I'm hungry. Although I don't actually feel hungry, my stomach is hungry. Okay, so I'm just building up the colours underneath my eyes. Just to... Not sm well, smoke it out a little bit. Just to give it a little bit def definition. And contour it out a little bit. And also just to bring that together don't need a lot just a little bit I mean that is working so well so well and my friend a very very good friend of mine recommended me to get the Zoeva and it's the um, 224 Lux defined crease and you know what I've got no regrets and got getting this brush whatsoever because it really is awesome it's amazing as are these eyeshadows they are beautiful it's a little bit darker over here There we go. So the contour side of it's done. I'm really impressed actually. Really, really impressed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okie dokie. So now what do I do? What colours do I use now? Because I've got so many to choose from, it's unbelievable. Um I've got some nice ready coloured mats in there. So I might I might use them actually let's just go go with this all over the lid now this one I'm using is out of the HD burn and this is bad behavior 
So I'm just going to just put this all over my lid just to warm that up a little bit. Oh, that is lovely. What a lovely colour. You're probably wondering why I'm using a blending brush to do it. It's because I don't want it too pigmented. I just want it just there, uh, just to give me a little pop of colour underneath what I'm going to put on. So, that, I tell you what, that's really quite bright. It's, I find that it, in the mirror, it looks like it's really opened my eyes up. So, I'm also going to use the ready colour. Um, which is intervention and just do literally the outside corners and then the inner corners it's a bit like a halo effect I'm just going to blend that all out So far, so good. So, we need to have um, some really, really lovely colours on the lid. I'm going to do also darken up my outer corner as well. So, I'm just going to be using, just to find a brush to do my outer corner. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Here we go. So, I'm going to use this colour here and this is smitten so this actually no I think that's going to be a bit too cool too cool I'll use this one down here which is actually dead end so just a tiny tiny amount on my brush I'm just doing my A of V I'm using the wrong brush actually. Yeah, that's more like it. Picked up the wrong one. Because um, I find that one drags the skin a bit more, which whereas this one doesn't. Right, okay. I'm just going to blend that in as well. Because it's all about blend, 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 blend. Trying to get as many colours into this look as I possibly can. I promise you that isn't what I what I planned to do. God, see what these blend really well. Without making the colours muddy, so you can see that where the colours are meant to be and blended without the harsh lines but they don't turn a muddy colour all together so some of you are probably thinking what the hell is she doing she looks crap this is me okay so Really am loving the reds at the moment. So, what I might do, I'm going to use a goldy, use this colour here, 
which is Settle Down. I'm going to use that and then I'm going to put a pop of red over the top. So let's just pop that across my lid. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. Um, and in case you've just noticed, I'm using one of the new unicorn brushes from I Heart Makeup. I'm literally just dipping my brush in. I'm not. Oh my god. I don't know if you can see, but that is just. That is just so foiled. That is just beautiful. Can you just blend? Because I do feel like there's some harsh lines going on here. See, I can see harsh lines in the camera, but I can't, again, come in the mirror. Isn't that funny how the camera will pick something up different to what it looks like in real life? I suppose it's because the camera translates what it sees and then portrays it what it thinks it should be, if that makes sense. Okay. So, I've blended that in, so I'm going to put a pop, pop of red um, on there as well. I'm going to use one of these beautiful, beautiful colours um, that I think I'm going to use this one, which is Inhibition. Literally, just to give it a pop of colour on the middle of my eye. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. And I've got to say, this brush is brilliant as well. It's the first time I actually used this brush properly and it is bloody brilliant. Okay, so I like to hear the kids outside playing at the school. Although I don't live that close to the school, I can still hear them because it's at the, the wind is obviously carrying it. So I'm gonna then just do under my eye. Just a pop of warmth. This is also a Lamora detailed pencil I'm using. I do like my Lamora brushes, I've got to say. They're, I think they're some of the first brushes that I bought when I got back into doing my makeup. And I still use them quite regular. So I have my pop of red, now I just need to do my highlight in the corner of the eye. I'm going to use my champagne colour, which is, I'll tell you, under your spell, and that's from that HD Metallics one. It's a good thing about these, you can just mix, mix whatever colours that you want. Oh wow, look at that. <gasps> wow. I 
I'll tell you what, I think these work out at a pound each. If you think they're a pack of five and they're a fiver, so yeah, they're a pound each. Um, and also they're available at Superdrug and Superdrug got their free for two at the moment and they're, they are included. I'm just going to put first down here. I'm not going to do the top like I normally do. I normally do there, but I'm just putting down the side there. They really are extremely, extremely pigmented. I can't tell you how pigmented they are because it's just, just crazy pigment, crazy pigment. I'm actually using the Freedom brush as well. I'm just gonna add that on a bit more. Oh, beautiful. Do you know, I can honestly say that out of my high-end stuff I've got, some of the stuff I bought back from America, these rival, if not match, if not are better than the high-end stuff. Just blend that in again. I'm probably gonna look at my look at my eyes and go, what the bloody hell are you done, woman? You look ridiculous. But I don't care. I really don't care today. Because that's the sort of mood I'm in today. Okay, right, I'm going to go and do my mascara and my eyeliner. Just do a quick close-up so you can see properly. Focus. Doesn't want to focus. Okay, so... Yeah. I'll just go and put my rest of my bits on and then I'll come back and you can... See the finished look. Be right back. Okay, so that's me with the finished look. Um, and I have to say I'm quite impressed. I mean, yeah, you you guys probably think, yeah, that looks absolutely crap. But I really like it. And I think these eyeshadows are incredible. And I mean incredible. I just, just my goodness, I mean they're just so pigmented, it's so easy to blend and they just are just amazing. So my advice is get them while they're on free for two. You'll need to have two of these to get them all in unless you want to keep them in their individual boxes of course. Um, I mean it's entirely up to you what you do. Um, but if you, for, th for this kit completely with two, without being on free for two, basically it comes to £40. Um, so there is it is a lot of money but they are seriously worth the money they are so incredible they also have um highlighters there's also some blushes and there's some also some single eyeshadows that you can buy as well which were from the original launch um but yeah i absolutely adore these i think they are amazing so yeah Thank you very much for joining me on this video. I will link the swatches down below as well. And also a link on where you can buy all the different eyeshadows from. Um, and I will obviously put on there all the different packs that you can get as well. But yeah, absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again in the next video. Take care for now and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.